In this video, we're going to talk about how you can display data-bound images in a list control in a UX component. By data-bound images, we mean images that are contained or referenced in a table that is used as the data source for a list control. So you can see here we're looking at a MySQL uh, table called uh, Movie Images. And in this particular table, we have a column called movie name, which is a character field. And then we have two binary columns, uh, one that contains the movie image as a uh, PNG, uh, as PNG data, and another that contains the, the binary data for the image as uh, JPEG data. And then you can see that we have a folder called movie images, and inside this folder we have a whole bunch of uh, uh, images, uh, dot, uh, JP, uh, .jpg files and you can see that uh, 4281 is the reference to the movie name over there so 4282 is that movie over there is that image over there etc so let's go now back to the UX builder and build a list control to display these uh, these uh, images from this table so uh, we'll go here and we'll choose a uh, list control so we'll just go there and say uh, list one and um, then we'll go to our list properties, so we'll choose a SQL database and we'll set our connection string and when the, define the uh, table which is uh, movie images and then choose our field list so we'd like the ID, the movie name and those two binary fields over there. Now when we go to our fields column here we can see that Alpha 5 assumes that since it's binary data they're going to be images but uh, we need to tell it what um, what type of binary data we have in this field. So currently it's defaulting to JPEG, but we need to tell it that it's uh, going to actually be uh, PNG data. And then the default here of JPEG is fine. So now we've got our um, uh, two uh, binary fields formatted correctly. And uh, let's just go back to the data source and set the record limit to just say 10 records because uh, this particular table has about 500 records so um, we don't want it to be uh, too slow um, initially. So we'll go back to our list layout now and specify the columns in our list. Go ahead there and click OK. And now let's uh, save this and then open up this list in live preview. So you can see here that there's our list and there's our 10 rows of data. Um, now if we uh, were to go and examine uh, any one of these particular um, images over here, we'll see that we, um, uh, let's see, we'll see that, uh, let's actually go to inspect with Firebug over there and uh, bring that up, we'll see that at what Alpha 5 has actually done is taken the binary data from the uh, field and created a physical file inside session storage uh, uh, with, the data, uh, with the data for the image in it so that it can be displayed uh, in the list control over here. So clearly uh, there's a little bit of work involved in extracting the data from the binary field and creating a physical file in session storage which is why uh, we set the limit for the number of rows in the um, list control to 10 rows because if we had set the list control uh, to 500 rows or minus one which would be all rows in the list Alpha 5 would have had to extract a large number of binary fields and create these temporary f um, these temporary images uh, in storage over there. But uh, obviously what we can go do is go back to this list control and uh, uh, set uh, pagination on and have the pagination method set to automatic pagination. So let's pause now and pick this up in the next video where we'll discuss uh, the pagination options. So we're continuing our discussion now on um, data bound images in a list control. So let's go back now and instead of setting our record limit to 10, let's change it back to minus 1 which means no limit. But then let's go over to uh, pagination and we'll say we'll paginate the data uh, and uh, we'll set the pagination method to uh, um, auto fetch more. So now what's going to happen is as we uh, scroll down in the list and we get toward the end of the list Alpha 5 will then do a, an automatic Ajax callback to get the next 20 rows 
so it'll appear as though the list is continuous even though it's being fetched in chunks of 20 rows at a time so let's go back now and uh, go over to uh, preview mode again now and uh, let's uh, get rid of firebug there and now start scrolling down in our list and you can see that when we get close towards the end of the list basically a callback is made and then either the list goes and gets the next 20 rows of data so we never actually get to the end of the list until we really do reach the last record in the list so the list appears to be continuous even though um, we're only fetching um, 20 rows at a time and if we in fact if we turn on uh, Firefox to actually watch the callbacks you can see now when we get close to the end of the list there's our callback taking place to go get the next uh, 20 rows and then when we get to the end of the list again another callback takes place to get the next 20 rows etc so the list uh, keeps on growing as the callbacks are made so now uh, what we've done is we've shown how we can display um, uh, the binary data over here and this binary data is now being uh, displayed by creating temporary images so now another option is to actually physically embed the images uh, directly inside um, the HTML by um, creating a base64 encoded uh, 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 HTML file so let's go back now to the builder and now let's go to say um, the um, second uh, uh, image over here and choose this option now to embed uh, the image into the HTML and we can also scale the image on the server um, before it gets served up so let's choose that option as well so we'll go here and we'll specify an absolute size and we'll specify uh, height and width independently rather than specifying one of the dimensions and having the other dimension scale proportionally so let's go here and say 0.7 uh, inches for the width and 0.7 inches for the height so now we're going to be basically for uh, scaling the second image and also embedding it uh, into the uh, uh, HTML so let's go ahead now and then save this and then uh, preview it so there we go we've previewed it you can see now the images are uh, for the second image have all been scaled on the server and if we go here right click and uh, inspect element with firebug we can see here that there's the uh, base64 encoded data has actually been uh, embedded into the HTML whereas for the uh, first image over here when we inspect that image we see that this is still a physical file on the server that has has been created so depending on your particular application uh, there may be some benefits in uh, 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 embedding the image directly into the HTML and there may be on the other hand other benefits of creating independent uh, f uh, image files the main benefit of embedding uh, images directly into the HTML is that you reduce the number of uh, round trips you need to have from the client device to the server in order to get the images so if you embed all of the images in your uh, in the list control then only a single uh, 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 request needs to be made of the server to get the image so that can reduce the amount of network traffic uh, dramatically so let's pause now and then continue in the next video so we're continuing our discussion on uh, data bound uh, images in a list control and uh, what we're going to do next now is uh, turn this character field which contains the name of an image uh, into an actual display of an image so we'll go back now to our uh, builder and as you uh, recall we have a folder uh, inside the uh, web root called movie images and that happens to have an image uh, in the in this folder uh, for each record so here's my image called uh, 4282 etc so what I'm trying to do now is uh, convert this character field um, over here into an actual display of an image so we're going to go back now to design mode and I'm going to go now to uh, list properties and go to fields and we can see that currently this movie name has been formatted as a label control type so what I'd like to do 
is actually uh, select the uh, raw data option. So now we're not going to format this data in any way at all. So the actual um, placeholder here called movie name over here, instead of being formatted as a, uh, a label now, um, um, a span, which would have, which is how we would format a label, is actually going to be completely unformatted, which means that I can now go here and actually create my own uh, image tag uh, to display the data. So uh, let's go now, and I'm going to just um, copy some code from the clipboard here, and then go back to movie name over there, and then go to the template and replace the template there with uh, this template. So you can see now that um, the HTML that we're going to use to display this character field is we're going to change that into an image tag displaying data in the movie images folder. Um, here has the raw name, so that's going to be the completely uh, unformatted name that uh, contains the data in the column with the dot uh, jpeg uh, column extension so let's go ahead now and then save this and then switch over to the live preview and we can see now that that character field now is being displayed um, as an image so in this particular case this uh, image field here is the name of the image rather than the actual binary data uh, for the image so what we've shown here in uh, this video is how uh, data bound uh, images can be displayed in a list control whether the uh, data bound image happens to be a f uh, binary f uh, image field that's embedded into the record or happens to be a character field that contains the name of an image thanks very much for watching